2GG Events, welcome. Uh, you're listening to OKO. Uh, we're here in Hollywood, in SoCal. Uh, really a beautiful night in Hollywood. And we're here with Losers Finals between Dynamite and Marvelous Marco. And uh, if you're not already following us, just hit that follow button. Uh, and if it's not your first time watching uh, a 2GG event, uh, feel free to share this, you know? Uh, I know you know people who watch Smash games, tournaments, and all that stuff. You know, um, they might want to be here just as much as you want to be here. And it'd be cool if you share the page for us and whatnot. You know, make this community, uh, you know, grow the community. Ooh, so Marco uh, definitely looking for some payback. Um, so in the last set, HLB. I had a chance to avenge himself or get revenge on uh, Marco. Marco ended up double eliminating HLB, and now Marco is up against Dynamite, the guy who put him into losers. And so this is Marco's chance for revenge. Yeah, it's not avenge. Avenge is when you do it for someone else, but it doesn't matter. That's just English stuff. But um, even stocks, but uh, Dynamite is uh, down in percent. Almost uh, in kill percent. Yeah. Um, if anyone uh, has been listening since the beginning, I'm telling you, like, I see a lot more projectiles coming out from both of these characters. Uh, uh, more of like a balanced um, distribution of, of, of types of, of moves. Um, I, and I really like that that up air uh, anti edge guard. Uh, it hasn't really. I feel like it's. It's somewhat flawed. It could it could really be um Oh that was such a great setup. I feel like the the, boom, the return boomerang kinda helped get that kill for some reason. I don't know why. But at, up B at the ledge is gonna kill at one fifty percent. And Yoshi's on his last stock. Yeah, both characters are really uh, um, both players are really doing a better job of balancing their uh, their artillery or their arsenal. Now, um, I like how Mar uh, Marco is really, um, he's not approaching, he doesn't need to, but he's also, um, he's also not falling for, for oh, so I don't know what that was, but I was going to say that he wasn't, he didn't seem very desperate to get the, the stock, and when it comes to momentum, if you think that you have the stock and you're two stocks ahead, that could end up meaning the game for you if, if you don't play your cards right and the other player plays their cards exactly right. So that was good on, on uh, him for not doing that, but I guess the up B, I don't know. You know, he's still up. Uh, Marco is in a really good position to win this first match, and uh, ooh! That was exact like, that setup that Dynamite almost got right now was exactly what he would have needed to win the match. Oh, and that, the arrow hit. That's so crazy. Okay, so this is that moment where Marco needs to just do that. Exactly. I was gonna say I was gonna say run up and up smash, but you know what? It's better if we just no words. You know, let it speak for itself. So Marco, yo, who is this guy? Where did he come from? All I know is that Marco. He's making his Marco. <laughs> you guys get it? Because, you know, make him make his mark. All right, cool. Moving on. But yeah, uh, Dynamite needs to... I mean, I don't think Dynamite's doing anything uh, too bad. I think he's just... Um, he's not spacing. He's not, like, giving himself enough room to set up his own thing. He's playing Marco's game, for sure. Um, anytime you see, anytime you're playing a, a projectile character, it's so easy to just like forget that you know, av avoiding their projectiles is what they want you to do, so that so that they choreograph your movement. And it's really tough to like you know just break out of that and just be like, all right, I need to set up my stuff. So it's really just like a, I think what Dynamite is suffering from is like um, 
his inability to set something up. Oh, and that, you know, that, I remember I was talking to Javi earlier about how Marco needs to stop doing those uppies, but he's, I think he's just found his way to do those uppies successfully. Oh, and that forward smash just off by a little bit. I think Dynamite could have been closer to the ledge, and that would have been a, a more uh, guaranteed uh, attack. Oh, wow. No stock coming from that, but Dynamite still on, on the chase. Down B. Nope. Wow, up smash, planking with the boomerang. And I don't know how that stock got taken off, but it could have been anything at that percent. And um, definitely not the first time that Dynamite's had the lead, but he's in the lead. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Take that back. He's not in the lead. Um, Nair and the the forward air doesn't connect. A um, little off on, on how um, Marco was going to DI. And that was a great tech, uh, that was a great follow up that Dynamite tried to go for, but the boomerang on its return uh, was able to get Marco out of that situation. It's always good, you know. Um, and it's not spamming, you know. Um, you know, as, as you go to. As you try to finesse your, your skills in this game, you know when to like, you know how to spot like someone who's just spamming like, just incessantly and is like annoying, and when people just like are really doing good setups. And I see a lot of really good setups coming out from Marco. Like it's kind of like those setups that makes you think, like, did he plan that? And the cool thing is that when you're watching tournament. It, more often than not, they did plan it. And even if they didn't, like a boomerang coming back and like getting you the match, that's that's godlike in itself. Great uh, B reverse up B, gonna get that stock. And um, he was actually, uh, Marco was in a bad position, uh, down two stocks, and that actually evened it out. And now we're, he's back at uh, an even game and, and now taking the lead himself in a pretty good position to continue this momentum and just uh, tack on all his damage and get him to kill percent. And I I think that was a whole stock of of 120% uh, and no callback from, from Dynamite. And those that up the shield was good, well spaced. Definitely. Um, uh, it's been interesting to see the development of both of these players as they um, kind of just build their nerves from scratch as the as the tournament goes on and as they re face each other because uh, uh, Marco is bringing it back. Uh, Dynamite took took the previous set uh, game five and it's looking like this could be a game three, uh, just three zero, and it would be the ultimate revenge. Uh, because then Marco would take uh, Dynamite out of the tournament. So, um, crazy little narrative that we got uh, writing itself here, guys. And and guys and gals, women and men, whoever's watching. Yeah. And like I said, if you got any friends who like Smash, share the stream with them. We're about to get to Grand Finals, and, uh, you know, we want to we wanna get everyone watching this. This is some good stuff. So, um, well, a pretty even percent on both uh, players. Uh, they're both trying to set up their, their aerial game. Ooh, love it. I love it when, like, spikes uh, come out of nowhere. Because um, that's one thing I like to do um, when I play the game. When people try to like uh, double jump from off stage back onto the stage, if you could catch that and spike them, it's, oh man, it's so satisfying. And I think I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Dynamite uh, got right now. All right, we got even stocks once again. Um, Marco, um, Marco. Doing a great job of uh, going tip for tap for Dynamite. Dynamite doing a great job of uh, just 
not letting the momentum get the best of him, uh, keeping his game pretty even, uh, hanging by the skin of his teeth. If I don't, I don't know if Yoshi has teeth, but um, pretty sure Dynamite, the person, has teeth. And if his teeth has skin, he's hanging on by it. Yeah, I don't think his teeth have skin. Anyways, um, Dynamite on his last uh, tournament stock. Um, he's going to have to play really careful, but hey, we all know that, don't we? Oh, that's, that's great. Um, that was a great uh, turnaround grab. And it was just like uh, thinking about the momentum of how he got that grab was really cool because two projectiles were thrown, you know, kind of like in sequence. And with every projectile, it kind of baited uh, Dynamite to move in closer. And then right when he was about to get grabbed, he got the turnaround grab. So it's cool little like baiting coming out from this uh, Toon Link. And back air, not going to kill, but the, the kill's going to come somewhere here, yeah. Nope. Well. Yeah. And great tech. That's a 3-0 for uh, Marco, uh, Marcos Marco, and he moves on to grand finals. But that's a great tech if you don't already know. Um, you could run up, and uh, if, you, if you're running, sprinting, and press back, and within a frame of pressing back, press forward tilt. Uh, you'll do your forward tilt with an extra boost where you kind of like slide on the floor, which is pretty cool. Um, different characters have different properties, like Bowser's one character that like really benefits from it. And so uh, it's um, like I play, uh, I, play uh, I play Lucas and Samus, and I feel like that doesn't really help with Lucas, but it helps a lot with, uh, with, uh, with Samus. You know, little legs, 